Hi, my name is Natasha Williams, and my aim is to help you get the self-worth that you know that you have and create the life of your dreams. And what I want to talk about today is the advice that I wish that I had been given when I was 14. And I've been given it some thought and you know, they say you are the sum of the five people that you spend the most time with. And if I think back to when I was 14, I didn't have any friends. In fact, I had one friend who wasn't a very good influence on me. Um, I just moved back from Holland. My parents were going through a rough time and I was just rebelling. I was rebelling against the misery that I perceived my life to be. I was rebelling against the school system and I didn't even worry about the future. I wasn't concerned particularly about what I'd be doing next year, never mind in 10 years time. And I think the biggest problem that people have nowadays, and in fact they've always had, is that they don't know where they want to be. They can't think too far into the future. So we do live in a society of instant gratification where we're concerned about living from paycheck to paycheck and we're not worried about saving our money. Um, where do we want to be working our way up the ladder because it's all about what is going to happen next week or next month. And I just wish that I had known what it is that I wanted to do and who I wanted to be at age 14 already. All I did know was that I wanted to be a performer, I wanted to be on stage. I didn't ever think how I'd going to be there because I was so shy. Um, you know, and if I had known and even thought bigger, which is another point that I'd like to cover, is if I had known um, that I would be on, on stage and who I should surround myself with, I probably would have made friends with the right people. And so it's not about who you surround with, it's about what is your higher focus. If, for example, you wanted to make a lot of money, then you would go out and find people who are making a lot of money. If you wanted more self-worth, you'd find people that have more self-worth. And, you know, find a way, whether it's through reading books or, or watching YouTube videos, which in those days we didn't have. Um, there's so much opportunity. You know, my salvation came through books, through self-help books, because I actually could learn from people who'd been through uh, experiences and they could teach me where the people that I was uh, surrounded with, you know, your friends and family don't know much. And even now, the clients that I coach, most of them, their problem is not actually even um, what's holding them back. It's what's not pulling them forward. What is pulling them towards something rather than them being pushed away from something? So what I would like for you to do today is actually um, think about what it is that you want out of life. And, um, you know, most people don't know what they want. So a good starting point would be, what don't you want? Maybe draw a line down a piece of paper and write down all the things you don't want. And then say, well, what would be better? And that's a starting point. And then work on your strengths and your skills and your interests and your hobbies, which are probably so buried because you forgot about them so long ago. But write down the things that you enjoy and, and just start from there. And then on the, on the point of thinking bigger, um, you know, if you look at people that achieved the things that they did want, maybe they wanted to climb Mount Everest or they uh, ran the Comrades, the feeling of achievement is so great, but it only lasts maybe a day or two. And then they get the sinking feeling of now what? Because they focused all the energy and their time on such a great goal. But nobody wants to celebrate their past successes. So that is why, to me, it's critical to find something that is sustaining, something that is life-sustaining. You know, whether it's maybe helping other people to climb Mount Everest, it doesn't matter. As long as you're able to just keep pushing forward and moving forward into something bigger and greater. Anyway, I hope that helps you. And uh, yeah, go ahead, go write down all your, your goals and your dreams. And I promise you from there, your life will start changing. Have an awesome day.